and we're back. Uh, this advanced wars comparison with conflict um, battle systems. Uh, basically, uh, like I said before, I know that there's the uh, Famcom Wars, uh, and there's Super Famcom Wars, where it was basically this with no CO powers. And, uh, I figured this is a better comparison. Uh, this show how the game has advanced. I might do Famcom Wars and compare it with another game. Uh, which is called Desert Commander, also for the NES. Uh, basically, right now, what I'm doing is I'm just uh, culling off all of his units all at one go. And basically, walling him up, setting up my rocket to uh, kind of weaken him. Uh, pretty much for these type of games, I'm pretty much I'm pretty easy to read. Uh, if anybody wants to play versus me on these type of games, let me know. Uh, quite open to them. Just uh, expect me to be a little douchey and a little cheap, because like I said, I, I play more towards grit style, so that's kind of a habit that I'm that I'm used to. Sammy's style is actually worse than that, so uh, there is an Advanced Wars online. Uh, I don't remember the site, but I do remember trying it once or twice. Uh, basically, if you've ever played Risk Online, it's sort of like that, where players have like five hours to make one move. So games like take agonizingly long. Which is why I like, why I heard about it, and then I stopped playing it. Well, now I got one rocket almost in the position. He seems to be favoring the other bases. Sometimes he'll favor the left base more. Sometimes he'll favor the right base more. Uh, so I was trying to set up for if he was. Uh, doing left base more, but he's doing right base, so I can't really do that. And I gotta get all these buildings captured up while I'm on my way. And uh, the rockets move agonizingly slow through the forest, but that's okay. That's fine. They can cover each other as they spawn in, so it's not a big deal. That's why I'm also focusing more on the, killing the enemy infantry. Because they move normal speed through forests, so it kind of gives you a little bit of a, a little bit of a time advantage. Since uh, a little bit of Kriegsmarine uh, know-how there. Uh, basically, for... World War II online battleground Europe. I know I referenced it a lot of, in a lot of videos, yet I hardly play it anymore because I can't afford it. But basically, I was uh, Marine infantry. Uh, I was in Marine infantry co uh, corp. Uh, basically, our main philosophy was uh, tanks don't cap. Uh, so while everybody else was focused on armored. Uh, we just focused on getting the job done and kept capturing all the spawn points and infiltrating towns and marking targets and whatnot for everybody else. Basically, we just we just did the ground job. Uh, again, uh, re only reason I'm bringing that up is, like I said, it kind of it's kind of like how my play style is with this. It's I'll always focus on the infantry first and leave everything else second. Anyway, we're already at day 10. Uh, kind of quick, isn't it? And, uh,. Let's, let's just be back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Uh, 
Uh, I have tried Dual Strike. I don't know what to compare it to really, uh, because it's like in its own world entirely. If anybody has any ideas of what to compare it to, that's fine. But I don't really see it as a, a just comparison between Dual Strike and uh, Days of Ruin. It, it just it, it went to two completely different genres there with it. kind of screwed up there and uh, it does show a little bit I mean it's fixable and I do fix it just I kind of did it out of order if I would have left that other uh, APC down there for one more turn I could have moved my rocket and spawned another rocket and then done some heavy annoyance or some artillery or something but I didn't bother and like I said I got this set support rocket system right here so don't say a big deal. And the main goal here is not to kill the units, is to weaken the units. Uh, basically, every time that, like I said, like that fresh tank there, that means it, it'll heal up two points. So that means that. Uh, it will cost him money. Then you see that artillery there. It costs him two more points. I mean, a few more points. And the funds just keep adding up every time that it tries to recover a weak unit. So the weaker I can get his units to where it will retreat them back, the better. And like, and eventually he'll just get to the point where all he spawns are mechs. Or he'll spawn infantry, and then it's pretty much game over. And see, already he's already in a panic mode because he spawned a mid tank, and he's already has two fronts he has to deal with right now. So the mid tank is sort of useless. Of course, my I don't have enough power to to maintain my uh, advance here. Pretty much all I'm doing is poking them. Which means the plan's basically working of him focusing so much on that one little building rather than where my main line is going to be. Now, I'm not going for an S rank here. This, this, this strategy doesn't work for S rank. At, at the most it might get you A rank, but due to the nature of it, you're going to be losing units rather quick, so just don't worry about it. <laughs> and he's still just being silly there and hitting with the tank. Eventually his tank is going to run out of gun shells at the rate he's firing at. And the AI for this system is a bit retarded too. Uh, unfortunately it's manipulable. I mean, yeah, you can manipulate it, which is what I'm doing here. Uh, he'll only go for weak units, and then he'll go for strong units. So that kind of, or he'll, his units will get so weak that he'll just pull back, and that means you can press even more forward, so. Like I said, that's kind of exploitable. And here's another overpowered moment. Rockets versus rockets, I do like 136% and kill them. Boom. And, uh, anyway, if there's any uh, RTS type games that you want me to try out, I will go ahead and try them. 
Uh, hopefully it's not too long of a game if if we do decide to pick one. But uh, if it is like really long forever, like Advanced Wars is, and uh, you might only see one gameplay footage of it because I'm not gonna go too elaborate into it. Yeah, sorry about sorry about that. Yeah, I'm just gonna play around a little bit and let him wear down his unit slowly. What I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make make his tank uh, go go east. I don't want his tank, his mid tank, to attack my main guys. I want to attack my east guys. But uh. Pretty much not, nothing really much to talk about. I mean, it's it, it's an art, it's advanced wars. Uh, I, there's a lot of people who've heard about it already. It's already out there. Most people have done LPs of it, or have even heard about it. Uh, so I mean, it, it's kind of hard to give like a a a, dunk, a dummy's version of it. It's kind of like a everybody knows it. So, but that's why it's a good comparison to. Is why I chose it for comparison because everybody's played it, everybody's heard of it. It's nothing new, it's nothing fancy, it's, you know, it's been there. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, call this a video, uh, let the gameplay footage air out, but this will be the end of uh, part two for Advanced Wars. So, uh, I'll see you later.